Okay, so if you're in the market right now and you're needing to buy an affordable smartphone and you're also looking out for something new and also cheap, this is the Yumi DG Power 7S device. This one is powered by the Uni SOC T310 processor with the 4 gigs of RAM and a strong 6150 mAh battery. It's a decent phone with a price tag that will easily squeeze out of your pocket. This phone at 57,000 in Naira or 140 US dollars would make a very good backup device or for someone out there starting his or her smartphone journey. Okay, for a smartphone that costs 140 US dollars, what do you have inside the box? Opening the box, the smartphone comes with a TPU case installed. I feel this will last for long. And then you get the envelope that holds the SIM ejector pin and the user manual. And then you have the charger that charges fast and the USB-C cable. One thing I admire about the Yumi DG brand is their packaging. They give you exactly all you need to get started. A smartphone, a TPU case, and a charger. Yes, and also the SIM ejector pin. So first time seeing this smartphone out of the box, I loved it. It was an all-round plastic build, but with the perfection. You don't have the glass body design this time. It's entirely a solid plastic build with a nice texture feel. This phone is a successor to the Power 5S, and it is the most affordable in the Power series of Yumi Digi, more like the brand's entry-level devices. This is the Atlantic blue color, and it does create some sort of reflection when light hits it. You have two camera lenses behind and the flashlight. And then on top of the phone, you have an extra microphone and a 3.5 audio jack. And then on the right, it spots the volume up and down rocker. And then the power button that is not the fingerprint on lock scanner. And then on the left, you have a customizable button and the tray for two SIMs and the micro SD card. And underneath the phone spots the primary microphone, the USB-C port and the speaker grill. I really love how simple the build and design of this phone is and it will last for a very long time. The display is 6.7 inches tall. It is an IPS display with a fair performance. And under direct sunlight, you will struggle a bit to see clearly every content on the screen. It is an HD plus display with a 720x1650 pixels and sports a notch that houses the selfie camera. The touch feedback is fast and also responds to multiple touches. And also viewing media content is also on the average, but it is decent. Decent enough to produce vibrant colors. The display is wide, wide enough to consume all media content, even with the visible bezels and a noticeable chain. This display is beautiful and also would do well in most 3D games. The graphic chip today is not so powerful. It is not powerful enough to play high demanding smartphone games. So if your aim of getting this device is gaming, honestly, you might be disappointed by the performance. It is not a gaming phone, but will certainly do well in most 3D graphic games. This phone is designed to handle everyday tasks at ease. The processor can do some heavy lifting, at least to some extent. You have the Android version 11 here, a 64 gigs of internal storage and the key 6150 battery capacity with a 10 watts fast charge. The main camera is a 16 megapixel lens and then the 8 megapixel ultra wide lens. The picture quality is fine. It does pretty much excellent. In video recording, it records at 1080 pixels at 30 frames per second. No stabilization and the color is not so great. On the front is an 8 megapixel camera lens and this is exactly what you get shooting a video with the selfie camera of the Yumi DG Power 7S. The result is not so great. Lots of details are actually missing here. Okay guys, if you've been enjoying this video up until this point, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell icon for notifications. And also let me know what you think about the picture quality in the comments. Thank you. This one does everything right from a low budget perspective and also it is well priced. I feel it's going to last for a very long time considering the all round plastic build. Guys, this is not a gaming smartphone. However, I can consider its higher siblings like the A11 Pro Max or the A13 Pro which I did compare to the Infinix for 12 or you can try the Rugged Bison. All of these phones, I will include their link in this video description so you check it out after watching this video. And for this one, please share your thoughts with me in the comments. Let me know what you think about the new Humidity Power 7S. And if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget the bell for notifications on my next video. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.